Well, on the topic AI roadmap, reimagining regulation for the age of COVID, we've got with us Dr. Akram A. Jadavi, GM, Ministry of Communication and Information Technology. Well, Dr. Akram is a Saudi professional with a focus on digital economy and policy, international affairs, politics, public policy, and knowledge management. He has extensive experience in scientific research and development, labor ma market statistics and reports, indicator analysis, advanced quantitative analysis and modeling, international relations and strategic management. Well, he's now the general manager of the international cooperation at the Ministry of Communication and Information Technology. Pre previously, he was a general manager at the G20 Affairs at the National Digital Transformation Unit, NDU, where he was a Saudi delegate of the Digital Economy Task Force. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to welcome Dr. Akram A. Jodavi on the stage. Thank you so much, uh, sir, for joining us. Thank you. Over to you. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Bahvana. Uh, let me just uh, share my screen. Can you see my presentation? Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning and good evening to the people who are from the other side of the world. So it is uh, my pleasure uh, to be with you today. And I would like to thank uh, the World AI Show organizing, uh, Organizer for this opportunity, uh, especially when talking about uh, the subject of artificial intelligence, which was and still one of the most increasingly evolving topic in the global agenda and the international forum for the at least past four years. I believe today event is a great opportunity for us to share and discuss recent development and AI and explore idea of how we can collaborate as a community to accelerate it. Not only internationally, but even nationally. Countries realize the importance of AI and the needs to establish a very solid policies and strategies that will allow maximizing its benefit and mitigating any professional uh, risks. Uh, in today's session, I would like to briefly outline the artificial intelligence uh, promises and potential impacts, as well as the risk associated with the lack of adoption. Then I will highlight the work of the G20 under the Saudi presidency this year regarding the trustworthy AI and advancing the G20 AI principle that has been welcomed last year in Japan, Osaka, 2019. Lastly, I will highlight a number of uh, recommendations on how to put AI principle into practice. Uh, artificial intelligence has become a key accelerator of the evolution of the digital economy as a result of three reinforcing development. First, digitalization and the emergence of Internet of Things has have led to the generation of a vast volume of data, the quantity and quality of which is still growing at an accelerating rate. Second, we have witnessed a rapid growth in data processing capacity due to the increasing affordability of computing power. And third, data processing algorithms are becoming ever, uh, ever more sophisticated, allowing for ever more complex and valuable application of AI. Because artificial intelligence is a general purpose technology, it will deeply impact virtually all sectors, including education, healthcare, manufacturing, finance, mobility, logistics, and even government services, and much more. On the other hand, AI promises to improve the efficiency of existing process, thereby boosting the growth in productivity. For example, when the automation of routine tasks in capital intensive sectors, such as manufacturing and transportation, is expected to generate significant economic benefit, even in the near term. On the other hand, artificial intelligence is expected to enable the creation of entirely new category of economic opportunity, becoming a catalyst of entirely new business models. For example, artificial intelligence enabled businesses and SMEs in particular to provide personalized products and service at a scale. In fact, a comprehensive study by Market Study Report projected that AI solutions in retail market is estimated to cross the 18 billion US dollar mark by 2024. As a result of uh, efficiency improvement and the formation of entirely new business, 
models, it's expected that artificial intelligence will generate 13 trillion US dollar of global GDP by the year 2030. To reap these benefits and ensure adoption of this emerging technology, all relevant stakeholders should work to ensure that AI is trustworthy. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, ethics issue has uh, raised up recently. And uh, people, uh, especially the G in the G20 uh, uh, agenda countries, uh, countries are very much stressing on using the AI for great and good. Especially that there are a number of challenges associated with the increased adoption of AI. And hence, those need to be addressed through the responsible use of AI and practically implementing the principle that many entities from both the private and public sectors have already established. One example G20 countries have advanced in the past couple of years is the G20 principle of responsible stewardship of trustworthy AI. I will give you just a very uh, brief uh, In 2019, under Japan presidency, G20 countries have agreed on the G20 principle for responsible stewardship of trustworthy AI, a combined by a recommendation for national policy and international cooperation. As I'm sure you all all aware of the five principles in, uh, of AI, which is first inclusive growth, sustainable development, and well-being. Second, human center value and fairness. Third, transparency and explainability. Fourth, robustness, security and safety. Fifth, accountability. So the Saudi presidency recognized the opportunity of the G20 member state and reaffirmed their commitment to the principles and to commit to advancing the G20 AI principles in accordance with the national priority in the July 2020 Digital Economy Ministerial Declaration we also took into consideration the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the use of AI in response to crisis. And this was clearly mentioned at the Ministerial Extraordinary Meeting Declaration, or as we call it, uh, communique. Ultimately, our goal is to ensure the responsible deployment and use of artificial intelligence across all sectors and use cases. In order to advance on the G20 AI principles, the Saudi presidency has proposed and achieved two mutually reinforcing outcomes. Under the, G under the 2020 Saudi presidency, the Digital Economy Task Force has taken the lead in advancing the, GI, uh, the G20 AI principles. This published background report prepared by the OECD under print the development of the example of national policy to advance the G20 AI principles. The completion in the report draw on country survey response uh, or information from the G20 countries and guest countries as well. And on the digital economy task force discussion that took place in 2020 under the thematic dialogue on AI that happens in, the, in May last year, this year. The second outcome was shaped through the G20 dialogue on AI that brought various AI stakeholders from the private sector, civil society, NGOs, to discuss the role of government in ensuring AI is trustworthy in pandemic responses. The timely dialogue highlighted the role of government in ensuring AI is trustworthy when utilized in response to crisis and to improve outcomes in health and education. The prominent threads of the discussion were focused on the importance of data and associated data infra infrastructure to fuel the AI and the need for countries to develop digital infrastructure for connectivity, raise human capacity, boost R&D, and build trust. Due, due to the uh, ever-evolving and borderless, borderless nature of artificial intelligence the, and the unique public policy challenges that it raises, we are convinced that uh, a continued dialogue on those challenges will benefit governments, private sector and society as a whole and should be carried forward in international fora 
in what will be continu continuously evolving landscape. Additionally, it is uh, imperative on government, actually, the AI industry expert, academia, and the private sector to work on developing an action plan and practice steps towards implementing the AI principles. Peering in my end, these plans, while they preserve basic human rights, they don't stifle the innovation. The private sector needs to put in place a self-assessment guide and external audit, which have been recommended by some expert as a key mechanism for private sector enforcement. Lastly, practices, steps toward implementing AI principle need to consider sector agnostic and sector specific guidelines. With this, I would like to end my presentation and thank you all. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Akram, for joining us and being a part of the World AI Show. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.